the summer. Oh, well, we interrupt this, but if that's the case, we can make do with the rest of the zoo. So I'm looking at the aquarium and I just noticed that the orange is like cover for it. Like, cause you can, I don't know if you can see the, um, the logos and stuff, but it's like a construction cover. But I mean, I'm kind of digging the orange and uh, the orange and dark gray black look. Like it looks kind of cool. So yeah, it's pretty quiet. I think it's because the weekend there's uh, no one working on construction. We can see if Africa's open. If it's not, that's all right. Let's see if the elephants are out. Maybe go back to the tiger trail. Still got the tropics. We'll make do for the day. So I can't tell if Africa is closed or not. Thing is, there, like the barricade was up, or the barricade was like turn of events. Looks like Africa is open. Cause I mean, there's music going on. The sign said that it wasn't open, but the barricade was like open and people were walking across. Something to be wary of. I know that they uh, closed Africa this morning because of all the bridges because they got real icy cold and stuff so you know the bridges especially ones that are above water they'll um, freeze over so that was a problem but seems like everything's going good so whoa hold on there were bugs I, I just saw bugs and mosquitoes I don't know if you saw that but I just saw bugs and I don't know if they're mosquitoes or what, but there were some kinds of uh, bugs flying around. It's only like 30 something degrees, it's like high, mid or high 30s. So, that was weird. Well, so far we're 0 for 3 as far as animals out goes. The painted dogs, the baboons. And the hippos aren't out. Luckily, I know a certain somebody who. Well, wait, he won't be out. He'll be in, but he'll be out. What? So, right there, you can see the little African dwarf crocodile, or West African dwarf crocodile, I should say. One of the smallest breeds of crocodilian. I don't know where they stand. I think they're smaller, like full grown, they're smaller than the um, Chinese alligator, but they're bigger than the Cuvier Dwarf Cayman. So, this building in general, this is a real historic building. I remember when they had the slender snout crocodiles living here. Of course, they outgrew it. But I honestly think it's for the better. The African Dwarf Crocodiles much more fitted to this um, size. I, I just noticed something. So here you see the comparison between uh, an African Nile crocodile, uh, an African slender snout, and a dwarf crocodile. And I just realized, so this mural has been here for a good long while. I don't, I, well, maybe these are the, I, Okay, I, I can't tell if these are exaggerations or if these are exact, like, actual sizes. I don't know. You can comment down below if you know. But I just realized the Slender Snout Crocodile, so, you know, they were here first, and they were here for the longest time. And they've had the African Dwarf Crocodile here, like, they've had this mural forever. I, I just realized it's how fitting it is that the African Dwarf Crocodile is inhabits this habitat, his coming was foretold.
So one thing of interest is that the Kansas City Zoo, uh, they recently celebrated the birth of a black rhino. Of course, black rhinos are critically endangered, so it was good to have uh, another one be born. Uh, but yeah, of course, weather's too cold, so they can't bring the rhinos out. By the time it warms up, hopefully they're able to bring the baby out because, um, you know, of course, you know, any parents will know babies, the one thing they will never do is stay small forever. So, it'd be cool to get some baby rhino pictures. Though, I guess they'd either have to put up safeguards or wait for it to get bigger so it doesn't cl climb through the fence. But yeah, I mean, between, uh, I think the thing is Zoomy, between the baby black rhino and the baby uh, Indian rhino at Tanganyika. I mean, this year is shaping up to be the year of the rhino, so. Focus. There we go. Let's see the bat ear fox is out. Probably because it's a little larger than its neighbor, the fennec fox, and has a fluffier coat. Look at him. As you can see, the caracal's there, but it's not the only cat out. It's always interesting. Like, obviously, the caracal can um, see the lions, but do you think the lions even notice the caracal? Like, do you think the lions even care about the caracal? Questions to be answered. As I always say, cooler weather is carnivore weather. And for a lot of animals you know, in the wild, these guys live in Africa where it'll be really hot, so they don't want to move because they don't want to exhaust the energy. So we're gonna, let's go see if we can uh, get a closer look at them from the viewing. But, you know, predators, they, won't, they don't want to exhaust a lot of energy. And being out in the heat, you know, anyone who works out in the heat could probably tell you that, you know, you can burn up a lot of energy. You need a lot of water, you need to rest in the shade, so, yeah. <laughs> to be strike two on the aviaries today but you know a few more species than last time that are out uh, so far it doesn't look like any of the antelope are out so but the lions were out caracal was out dwarf crocodile and the snake were sort of out so we'll see what else we can find and yeah, the bald eagle is out I believe normally they'd have the uh, Batlier eagle, which lives in here, but because the Batlier eagle is a species that, oh, there he goes. Because the Batlier eagle is a species that lives in um, uh, tropical and arid Africa, they don't quite like the cooler weather. However, bald eagles living in a variety of habitats, including uh, tundra and frigid weather. He's just at home. Literally, because he's also a native species. Well, there's always the first time to be wrong. Battler eagles seem to have gotten an upgrade here. Though, now that makes me wonder, do they still have their lapid face vulture? 
something that wasn't open last time. I don't know how well you could have seen that. But the swinging bridge is open. So, you know, an interesting thing is that aside from the uh, bald eagle, the one uh, cold weather animal that lives in the African part, I think, I think it'd be the one, um, is the uh, Amor leopard. So, of course, if you guys are familiar with the Amor leopard, you know they're from the Amor region of China and Russia, and they are a cold weather cat, so cooler weather like this they love. Unfortunately, if it's really cold, you don't know how well you can uh, see them because they may close the bridge down because, like I mentioned earlier, ice. So, yep, let's go see the forest. We'll see how many of the animals out there are actually out. Maybe it'll be, j maybe it'll just be the Amor leopard. Maybe, I doubt the gorillas will be out. I don't think they'll be out. Maybe the bongos. There, there's a gorilla. Does that count? <laughs> Well, here's something new. So, okay, I don't, or there's a train going on, so it may be a little hard to hear me, but I just thought, so they redid the sign for the bongo and uh, tiled it under the subspecies of Eastern Bongo. So I know, I think Dickerson Park Zoo had, or has Eastern Bongos. And I wonder what the difference between an Eastern and a Western is, or any of the subspecies and stuff. Okay, so I just left Africa, and they switched the sign around. So, Africa's not closed. The Sky Safari is. We apologize for the inconvenience. I just think that's funny, but obviously Africa was open. So, now we're going to... I don't know where we're going. guys thank you so much for watching this far to the end of the video i really appreciate it i know i didn't record a normal outro because i just forgot when i was in the zoo and then i tried in the car with the, but the camera angles weren't good so so we're kind of just winging it this time but again i do thank you for watching this far i've i know a lot of my more recent content has been the um dbd double nb and i like making that but i still want to keep the channel like varied with zoo vlogs and doing topic videos and stuff so it's just time is kind of a constraint right now but also i know this video was a lot more talking and i want to get better at that showing more like cinematics more um informational stuff like just more like i know that me talking may not be the most interesting thing to watch so i want to try and make it more visually appealing so i'll work on that in the future and yeah but like I said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and will consider liking and subscribing to the channel, as well as following us on our other social media platforms. The link tree will be in the description down below. And share this video out to anyone who likes cold weather zoo visits or just zoos and animals in general. I thank you all for watching, and remember, always be prepared, do good daily, and love nature. For your life is a canvas, and you have the brush. Alvita Zane!